right, go ahead. Hey, Kyrie, what was just the mood on the sideline after you guys got down 14-0 in that first quarter? Um, The mood on the sideline, we just keep our heads up, keep playing. Like, um, the first two touchdowns was off of just busted plays. Like, and we knew we shouldn't – we're the type of team, like, we sh we should be get up giving up any plays so like that's it was like just added motivation to keep going um I'm just happy none of, no, nobody put their heads down everybody was motivated to get back out there and, um just play Gators football like you know I was I'm, I was just just proud to see that how did it feel to get a pick in this game I felt amazing uh, I should have caught the second one I should have actually should have had three um so I just got to go back to the drawing board you know watch film of Arkansas tonight um and keep going. And, and how big was the performance for the secondary? You guys didn't have a pick in the first four games, and you guys get three tonight. <laughs> it was awesome. You know, uh, it was something going into the game, like, going in, yeah, going into the game, it was something that we said we were going to do, and we did it. Like, it, our goal was to get three, and we, uh, we accomplished it. So it was real big. All right. Thanks, man. Yes, sir. Todd Dilly. So if you gotten, if you had held on to those up to, you would have had more than three, right, as a team? Of course, of course, without a doubt. <laughs> I mean, your history with this is only a year old. You only had, but but walking off the field last year versus this year, how much different? Just talk about the difference, how it felt. Um, so last year I got in um, only on third down, and I didn't really uh, play that much of a role in the game. But it was still, it still hit me hit home because it's such a big rival game and. For me, I feel like we should never lose. Like the type of team we have and our goals, like we should never lose. So um, for us to lose last year was a big, you know, big uh, something in my heart that, that that didn't sit right. So for us to come out and win like we did, you know, still a lot of stuff we could have cleaned up. Um, for us to be a national championship team, we had to keep executing, but I think we played it okay. What was the most fun part of the celebration afterwards? Just to be able to celebrate with, uh, with the seniors, you know, um, guys who've been here for four years, Sean Davis, uh, Brad uh, Stewart, Donovan Steiner, Zach Carter, Marco Wilson, those guys, they really deserve it. You know, uh, Kadarius Tony, Rick Wells, a lot of guys, you know what I'm saying, they've been here for four years and they never beat Georgia. And for us to, you know, capitalize like we did, was it just, I just, like, I was very grateful for that and I'm just so proud of them, for them. Thanks, man. Close with Allen. Uh, hey, man, how much did the uh, defensive game plan change, you know, when they started switching quarterbacks? Um, I'm not sure. You might have to ask the D-line. But, you know, for the, uh, on the secondary, um, we knew that uh, they both were – they both uh, – Stetson Bennett and uh, uh, the Matt, yeah, uh, Mathis, he, he was a, a scrambling quarterback. And we knew we had to stop the run first for them to start putting the ball in the air, and which we did. And um, I think we did a great job uh, when the ball got in the air to not panic and just, you know, play our guys. Did you know your coach could get into the stands like that? What'd you say? Did you know that uh, Coach Mullen could, could climb into the stands like that? Coach Mullen pretty athletic, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't surprised. Former tight end, right? I wasn't surprised. He played quarterback in high school, so. Thank you, man.